humanity stands as the greatest threat in the galaxy. The Forerunners have returned. Hey guys, it's Rahano 100, and today we have the Halo 4 review on the Xbox 360. And sorry for being late, almost two weeks now since the game came out. I've been playing it a lot, level 40 uh, on multiplayer. I've already beaten the campaign and going through it on Legendary at the moment, so I will give you my final verdict on this game. This game has been highly anticipated, highly anticipated by a lot of people, and it's said to be the biggest Xbox game of the year, maybe even the best shooter of the year. After Benji retired with Halo uh, Reach, um, 343 took over to 343 Industries, uh, which is also built up by previous Benji members. Um, so. Did they succeed in bringing the Halo franchise uh, further into the future? Well, they did. And not only that, they perfected the gameplay Bungie made uh, back with Halo 3 and Halo Reach, and now it's perfected into something very special. The, gameplay, the story, the gameplay, the music, everything is really well done. It's really high production value into this game. So our hero Master Chief is back after being four years into cryosleep. Um, after the, if you played Halo 3, the legendary ending, he was on his way to this unknown planet on board um, a spaceship. Uh, the thing is that Master Chief is now awake and problems are starting to happen. Covenant attacks the ship and Chief and Cortana is crashing down onto Requiem, who is a forerunner planet. The story follows them throughout this planet and that they have to stop um, a new enemy that has awakened. Also we get to see this new race that is popping up, the Prometheans. Um, that are warriors that are living on this planet. You can see all from dogs running around in packs ready to kill you with laser fire and Promethean knights who has this um, kind of watcher thing about them who revives them and heals them and things like that. So there's an entire new set of enemies in the story uh, and they all have really 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 great animations. Some of them are really awesome to fight against just because you can look at their colors uh, Chief himself looks a little bit different. He has now a new set of armor, or his armor has changed a little bit. He has new type of powers. He can actually use uh, smart armor abilities in the campaign. And all this really comes together with a great soundtrack that is very different from what Halo has used to be doing. It works. And this is a stunning campaign. The game's visual looks amazing. The art style is really off the charge. Everything looks great about this game. Everything from explosions to enemies to Master Chief himself to the HUD piece, everything looks really great. Cortana looks a little bit sexier now. For the presentation, this game is top notch, it's really great. So, what really makes or breaks Halo is not just the campaign. The campaign is great, even though the legendary difficulty is a little bit harder than it used to be. The same with um, Heroic. The multiplayer is where it's at. The multiplayer is still as refreshing and great as ever. You really feel like you're playing Halo 3 with updated visuals and a couple of new game modes, but it all makes it work because the game, the gameplay has changed so much. There are new weapons that you can choose from, even you can play with uh, Promethean weapons, you can play with Covenant weapons and U UNSC weapons, and there is about 10 new weapons in the game I think. Lock is gone and now replaced with Hard Light Shield. And you also got uh, the usual stuff like a Hologram, um, your jetpack. Now you can also use the thruster packs to move fast in one direction. Everybody can sprint now, which has become a standard uh, ability for every Spartan. We are playing with Spartan 4 after all, they are supposed to be upgrade version of the Spartan 3s and Spartan 2s. Many great game modes is back including team um, like the Slayer, uh, that is also called Infinity Slayer now. And now you also got um, big big team. With eight players, you also got Regicide, which is this kill the king kind of thing, where the king is one person, the one with the most points, and you have to kill him to get more points. And you also got capture the flag. Uh, you got a Griff Ball. You got SWAT. You got every game mode you can think about in the Halo universe, and including uh, updated float mode, which is uh, or it's infection. But now you transform into this flood kind of creature with like this hand sword kind of thing and it works really well. You have to see that they have done some amazing things with the multiplayer. A new vehicle including the Mantis. The Mantis is what you would like to call a really robot like almost like a Metal Gear. 
but it works in this kind of setting because it's science, science fiction after all. And the mantis is not too powerful, it's really balanced. You can actually go on top of the mantis, uh, stick a grenade into it and let it explode, which is just beautiful to watch. Uh, the tanks are back. Uh, three types of war targets. You got a lot of things to play with in the, in the multiplayer. You got ten maps, which are all well designed. You also got three forge maps this time around, that are not in the matchmaking yet. But let's hope they make it sooner or later. There is no full damage. Um, you also have, don't have any health. Uh, you only have the shield, and then you can take a couple of bullets before you die. So if you lose your shield, you are really on thin ice. You have to wait until the shield recharge. But it's great, you know. Um, it works, it's Halo, you really feel like a Spartan warrior, the customization has been updated, there's like 60 different helmets, there's a crazy amount of things you can do, but you unlock it over time, and that's what I'm going to talk about now. Um, including the armor abilities, you also got perks. Perks works in the way that you can, up t uh, you can buy them with Spartan points, which you get from leveling up from 1 to 50. Uh, you get 1 point each level, and... This thing can be anything from increased movement sensor to uh, grenade ex big grenade explosions and so on to customize your playstyle. And so the loadouts are more personal this time around and it works, it's great. So including with Halo 4, they have replaced firefight mode and replaced it with the Spartan Ops mode. The Spartan Ops mode is uh, much like the firefights except that you get missions each week. You have uh, 10 episodes that is coming out, like you get one episode each week. We are now, as I'm recording, on episode 2. And every Monday there will come a new episode with 5 missions to play, or 5 chapters. Each chapter brings you, uh, or each episode brings you a beautiful cinematic that is just awesome to watch. Um, also you get a lot of story context with it. This is happening after the Halo 4 main campaign, so I will recommend playing through the campaign first as I did. Uh, it's not hard, you know, and I bet that each week can be done, even if you play on Legendary, in about an hour. So it's not much content you get, but by the time that you are able, like, getting to the 10th mission, you will have followed an incredible story, an incredible gameplay, and you, of course, you are playing with friends, which is the most important thing. You can watch it with your friends and play with them. Also, Forge Mode, and uh, Forge Mode is made, is made even big, bigger and better, with a lot of new new things you can do. Especially when it comes to placement. Uh, the theater is back, bringing out the cinematic or the opportunity to make machinimas and f film your gameplay, upload it to YouTube and things like that. So again, there's a lot of things in this game and I haven't even covered all of them. Like new uh, visor colors you get. Uh, you can also play as a female by the way. Just want to mention it because some were actually worried about not being able to play as a female. Um, but you can, you can see for, see it for yourself. This game is just amazing. Um, there are some small technical hip, hiccups here and there, and the servers are not so very stable at the moment. But I will give this game a nine point three out of ten. A nine point three is well deserved. It has done everything right. They played it a little bit safe, I think, when it comes to designing the game. But for the most part, this is a true Halo game. This is a worthy. Um, it's a really great game. Just everybody, if you haven't already bought it, I guess that many people that are going to watch this have already bought the game, but for you that haven't bought the game, buy the game. The game is beautiful, it's great, and I wish to see you online. So this was Rahana100, and thank you for watching this video, and I'll be signing out now.